Another defining characteristic of E. Kane's content is her ability to somewhat spread positivity. She also be spreading knowledge. Say what y'all want about that girl, but that girl is funny. Oh my god. I actually kind of like E. Kane. Hello, welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about the controversial statements that E. Kang has made because y'all couldn't wait to eat me up. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to say I have been spending more time in a water park than social media lately, so I don't even want to hear all that extra stuff, okay? So before y'all check me, okay, like y'all been trying to check me in my last video that I made over a month and some change ago, okay? Let me remind y'all, over 98% of y'all are subscribed to my YouTube channel. How dare you talk crazy to me on my platform, on my internet browser, even if you subscribe to my channel, so I'm away. Go ahead, subscribe. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I just want to say, bullying works, okay? I listened, and I'm here, and I'm back. How y'all feel about my hair? Y'all like it? Thank you. So really quickly, I just want to say, I didn't even watch the whole clip all the way through. If anything, all I just saw was e King Colorist, and I just kind of knew what happened. Kind of very similar to the whole Christian Rock situation. Ugly with a fat ass nose. You don't even, and I know you don't like your complexion. Cause you look like one of them type of bitches. But then it continues in this. Very true. When you take these people who lack education, therefore they start spewing all this um, anti black shit, it's like, oh, should we really be surprised? But answer is no. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and react to that for you right now. I hate to break it to you. Let me not. Let me not be. Let me not be insecure to you, sister. Let me not try to break it to you. But have you understand? I'm a light skinned woman, so I benefit from colorism. You're a dark skinned woman, sister. You can never make it to the to the heights I make it from. Oh, can we clock that one, or is it going? Is it going to hurt y'all feelings? Because it's me saying it. Can we be real for once and let's clock everything? Cause I'm a light skinned woman, I say the same shit you say you're not gonna make it to the height time make it, bitch, cause you can't fuck with me. You're a dark skinned woman, I want you to understand that. Don't come in my comments saying anything to me, ho, cause I was supporting you cause you was a black bum bitch like me. You was a black bum like me, just getting on TikTok just for the love of the game cause I wanted to make a way for my kids. But now I see you just a black bum that hate on hoes. See, one thing about me, when I was trying to make a way for my kids and get off the hood, I didn't get nobody live trying to down talk them, trying to be funny. See, I was actually making videos trying to get off the hood and you see what I make. Really quickly, I just want to say, as a dark-skinned woman who has been called numerous of many things who have just now recently i've had people tell me you're not dark skin you're brown skin you're caramel i just want to say all of this is hilarious to me before i really dive into how i feel about everything that ek is saying because i ain't gonna sit through the rest of that bullshit because once she said you will never get to the heights that i have gotten to what heights doing wig reviews and getting beat the fuck up on TikTok every single day and documenting it. I feel like now I should tell you guys about my own experience with colorism because I just want to say <clears throat> I did not start to experience an immense amount of colorism and coloristic remarks until I started dating black men. Oops, 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 oops. Y'all gonna have to hear me out on this one. Since I was really young, I had always understood and known that I had liked women and that women were the people who I were primarily attracted to. But the very first time that I actually ever heard someone mention 
something about my skin color it actually had to be from this guy who i kind of had a crush on when i was in elementary school i had associated male attention with love because i was raised by really male-centered women yeah it's a really long story anyway my very first boyfriend wasn't in fact black he was actually half white half mexican and a lot of my you know boyfriends that I had after that were also half white or half mexican or you know asian and white or just plain white up until about i want to say my senior year in high school is when i started hearing the comments of oh you're pretty for a dark skinned girl or i usually date light skinned women or i usually date da -da 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 -da. growing up in my extremely small town i was so used to being the token black girl that the light skinned girls who were usually at school if they weren't biracial you know with the white mom black dad if they were light skinned they were usually famous or popular you know amongst the niggas who i definitely were not checking for or definitely was not checking for my ass in high school <laughs> but once i got you know somewhat conventionally attractive that's when i started hearing the oh yeah you bad for a dark skin kind of comments which i was like bad for a dark skin like i knew i heard the i heard the terminology you know red bone yellow bone dark skin light skin and i had always heard comments about it but it never really bothered me because since i was really young fuck what a nigga got to say about me okay but then once i started to try and befriend more women it started to be very very clear and apparent to me how deadly some women's need for male validation and male attention can cause women to be another thing that would happen to me is obviously when i was in high school and you know the first black i guess boyfriend that i had who really cheated on me he cheated on me with a light-skinned girl so i had to hear about that and eventually um i dated another guy who he ended up having a light-skinned girlfriend and when um they broke up and she had found out that he and i were together she called me all kinds of ugly which i am many things but ugly is not one of them but she calls me all kinds of ugly and i remember telling him or asking him and being like hey is old girl like colorist like what's tea he was like um she might be she used to tell me that her grandma told her that dark skinned girls would hate her her entire life just because she's light skinned so obviously you create and you raise these girl uh, these girls up with superiority complexes when i got into college and i experienced you know um going to an hbcu and having more you know black friends you know different let's say complexions i experienced my very first issue where i had a friend who i was really cool really tight with and her and i went to a party and um she is really cute like bad as fuck and she's so used to having niggas come up to her and and you know talking to her and whatnot and i remember one time a dude had came up to us he was like you know what's up shawty like i'm trying to get your number all this other good kind of stuff she's like nah nigga we good he was like oh actually i wasn't talking to you i was actually talking to your friend he was talking to me and i remember from that point forward her being rude as fuck to me for the entire night and i remember like saying something to her or whatever and her snapping on me and being like don't nobody care that just because that one nigga came up to you don't mean that you that you the shit that you this that you that that you did that, that, that and i was like what in the hell and it never really 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 clicked to me until i stopped dating men and i started dating women exclusively that 
oh, it isn't actually rooted in what we want it to be, but it's due to not only male validation and male attention, but also white supremacy. <gasps> Oh no, dun dun dun! Let's get into the history of colorism and why colorism continues to perpetuate and damage the black community. Uh oh, darkies versus the light brights. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so today's topic is colorism, which involves treating individuals differently based on their skin color. Typically, favoritism shown towards those with lighter skin tones, while those with darker skin tones may experience mistreatment. This phenomenon known as colorism, which often occurs within the same ethnic or racial group, I'm talking about black people. Back in the days of slavery, slave owners would give preferential treatment to those with lighter skin while those with darker skins would be subjected to harsher conditions unfortunately these biases still persist today with lighter skin individuals still facing more acceptance in society this is a perfect time to also um add in that a lot of the biracial light skin slaves that were happening back in the day were a result of our wording the slaves so house slaves and outside slaves, it's like n no one really had it better, but okay. <clears throat> the paper bag test was a discriminatory practice where some upper class black individuals would use a paper bag to determine if someone's skin was light enough to be a part of their group. This is just one of the many ways that colorism has affected the black community. Regular Kai, I send it back to you. E. Kane then came out and decided to apologize, which I felt as though her apology was dumb as hell because what she failed to acknowledge is how she sat there and she acknowledged colorism and how it affects her. She weaponized it against a dark-skinned woman who she said that, oh, she um, said that she hopes her daughter gets essayed or whatever. But you could have attacked that woman specifically, but instead you let your ignorance show and you attacked a whole group of people because you're dumb as hell and you're stupid. But I'll let her go ahead and apologize for y'all. Listen, only to my dark skin supporters, I apologize humbly in the humblest of forms. I responded to a comment making fun of my abuse and I went to love. And in the process of trying to offend her, how she hurt my heart, I hurt all my dark skin girlies. I want to try to understand, if you know me, you know I ride for us. Dark skin, light skin, brown, I don't care what color you is, honey. I done went too low, and it was ignorant of me. And I shouldn't have dated. If you don't feel right to support me no more, block me, unfollow me, do what you gotta do, sister. But I apologize. Seriously. I need to learn not to let comments make me that mad. I forgot I have a platform. Amen. But I am a human, and when people say fucked up shit and joke about my abuse, I try and say fucked up shit as well. No justifying, just letting you know my brain, amen? I apologize, sisters. I love us, honey. Are you crazy? I love us. We the best. We the blueprint. Fuck you, time out. We'll sing a song about letting that glue dry clear, but you know what? It, it, I don't think the time is right, sisters. Nope, let's do a moment of silence, actually. All right. Y'all done stressed me out so bad, even the wig balling. Oh. We been for an hour. Oh, and I didn't even tell y'all. She also said she helped my daughter get S.A. No. But y'all got it. My bad. My bad. She said, I hope your kids get S.A. But I'm still in the room. That's to hell. She took it to hell, sister. I ain't never took it that low. She said, I hope your kids. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's social media for you, sisters. I'm not gonna say I'm taking it, honey. We all taking it, honey. But seriously, just to close this off, 
I do apologize to my dark skin supporters. I never want to offend y'all. Y'all changed my life. Amen. I don't know why I went that route. It was wrong. Hold me accountable. Do what you need to do. Sisters, but I love y'all. Go the hardest for us. We are everything. I just meant to hurt her how she hurt me once again. And that don't make it right. I need to work on that. And not let these comments trigger me that bad. Because I am that bitch. They even talked about Jesus. Wake that up. It's to be a cute wig while I'm curled, okay? Love you guys. And back to my original video. The only thing that I necessarily regret saying about E. Kane is that I liked her. Because after just making that video and a month later being, oh my god, so embarrassed, yo. I'm so embarrassed. Um, <laughs> and realizing that E. Kane is once again just as ignorant as she portrays herself to be and I shouldn't really make videos advocating for people that I don't do all the further research on you know um so I can say that hey I was wrong your girl was wrong I can take accountability accountability it feels so good to take accountability mm -mm. delicio so a lot of what I said about E. Kane also is still really true. I did say that obviously she is someone who is very damaged. She is an attention seeker. She does provide joy for people. That's why I feel like there's still some dark skinned girls out here defending her because they see some areas of themselves in E. Kane as well as they still have some self loathing going on to identify with E. Kane in any sort of way or fashion. Um, and they feel like, I don't know, she's relatable. A lot of what I said is still true to this day. Y'all can still go back and watch it. I heard that her and Chris, um, get, got back together. They got, they started fighting again. All that other good kind of shit. I'm not covering them anymore. Um, I learned my lesson the first time. So if you guys still want to go watch that video, I suggest you guys, you guys go back and watch that video. Please support your girl because I love you guys. I want to grow my community. I want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and I am almost there guys I will make more videos if you help me help you out we're in this together we're all in this together in conclusion I think that it's really important for um I know that some people obviously say that when you become popular on social media you shouldn't sign up to be an influencer and all the other good kind of stuff that's absolutely true and i get that 1000 percent but at the same time you should always still be mindful of the platform that you have and how the words that you say how they can affect multiple people because if i'm trying to offend you i'm gonna say something that's specific to you if you're a, a viewer of mine and you ugly as hell i'm gonna say something that has something to do with you specifically being ugly not something that can offend a, a, a big group of people and i can literally sit here and give you the definition like she literally sat there and gave y'all the definition of colorism and why she believes that she's superior than y'all and this isn't the third that's what she deeply believes I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for you, Kane. She's lost my viewership and shit. Um, well, hell. Rose, where you pull up? Black more, hop out. Shout out to my mother and my father. Pull out. MSG sell out. Fuck these niggas, got out. Whips on whips, my ancestors got the back side. Two, four, five hundred stacks for the hood. Call me Lumber Jack, cause I wish a nigga would. What I'm doing like I is the wish a nigga could. Fast thing, getting people like they should.